Hey guys, this is Ant for Games Defined, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the loft tool. So, if you don't know what that is, what it does is it takes a shape or 2D object and extrudes it along a path. So, I'm just going to get started and show you how you do it. So, if you just select this line, come over to the create panel, and in the geometry section, if you just click this drop down menu here, come to the third one down, compound objects and then we'll click loft when you've clicked that you you'll see that this appears here okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just come to the side view to make it easier and i will just change the color of these two so you can see them a bit better there we go okay so if i just click this line again click loft okay now i will change oh it's already at zero so ignore that so if i just click get shape and choose this shape here this will happen okay it's extruded it along the path now what we're going to do is we're going to create a screwdriver i've got all these shapes set up here as you can see right here okay so if i just click this again this box here that's it We'll come into the path and we'll just change this to 0.5. Click get shape and then click this one here. Now if we just move along, as you can see, I, you probably won't be able to see it properly, I'm not sure. But there's a little cross here and as you move the path up, the little cross will move along the path. When you hit 100%, you'll be right at the end obviously zero you'll be right at this start so if I just move this up to about see here we'll just change this to 39 okay we'll click get shape and then this smaller circle here nope nope not that one this one here now we'll change this to we'll change it to 43 now 44 yeah 44 click get shape again and then select this shape here okay so if you just change this again we'll just scroll up roughly to about 48 49 no 48.5 like that and then get shape is already clicked so we'll select this shape again okay so now if we just change it to 49 we'll click get shape again and then select this one here this smaller one okay so now we'll just move it to the to about here and then select this small shape again move it to in between this section here so say 97 no 96.5 that's it we'll click this small box here we'll move right to the end and then we'll click this box again okay so if we just come into the perspective view we'll change this from uh, mesh to patch now if we just select shape select these two shapes here because if you come over as you can see it's slightly twisted so if you just move this around like this that sorted that problem out and then we'll select this last shape here and we'll just make it a bit smaller like that that looks great we just change this color just something we can see like that there you go there we go it's a screwdriver flathead screwdriver easily created so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching if you did like then click that like button if you've got any questions leave a comment and subscribe for more 3ds max tutorials